kind of in the past struggled with uh, sword matchups, but I feel like and he, and he got the big sword. Sephiroth does have a, a, a pretty big one. <laughs> so coming in on FD there. So neither character is going to be having any platforms to work with. And oh my I, God, look look at the dishonesty. It caught match just start and already Sephiroth is, is, is at twenty eight percent. So this dishonest. This is. Dis <laughs> <laughs> this is not what Nintendo wanted. I, I, we, we should return the game. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Yo, Yoshi is, is, is going to be the next character called, called Ban. I, uh, watch. <laughs> One day. <laughs> when they finally get rid, get rid of Steve. All right, so now we got rid of Steve. Let's get rid of Yoshi. He finally. had that with Cully. <laughs> ah, but yes, uh, match. Match as, as, as far as percentage of course, does look of course, pretty even. Uh, Sephiroth does want to keep uh, Yoshi uh, far away, but Yoshi is going to try to close in with all those eggs and that dishonest Ooh. upbeat that uh, that totally ignored of course, that, that forward air. double jump. That's just <laughs> he just pressed one button. <laughs> so I feel like on paper, this matchup feels even or somewhat Sephiroth favored, assuming the Sephiroth plays very good neutral because, I mean, Yoshi does kind of struggle with swords due, due to just his stubby nature, but he's got great burst range and great out of shield, meaning that Ishtar is going to have to be playing and spacing perfectly. Yes, and, and being the that the, they're on FD, it, it is entirely possible. <laughs> Where were you down smashing Ishtar? Ah, but you know that that really all, all depends on, on whether or not uh, Ishtar could get grabbed or by Raptor, yep, or clap by his damn tail. <laughs> yep, back air gonna be taken. That is a wing off the table for Ishtar. Gonna have to be working a little bit harder. And the double jump armor gonna be so useful for Raptor in this matchup because I mean, Sephiroth has amazing ledge trapping and edge guarding potential. You know, with that huge long hitbox that he can just stick out there and but i mean raptor's gonna be getting right back into center stage ishtar still looking for this kill looking to maybe set up an up air like frame trap out of that down tilt but not finding it Ooh. finally though catching raptor uh just jumping above him without any like hitboxes or protection ishtar gonna be finding that stock but now raptor coming in with no fear of losing losing his stock he, he doesn't care as, as long as he, he'll get that W in the end. Yep, and he's getting some damage on the board finally to you know, get himself there. But let's see. And there, like I was saying before, Ishtar came in a little bit too greedy, especially we can see it now that he's down in percentage, you know, a fairly significant amount. Starting to see some more desperate attempts to win these neutrals, landing right on top of Raptor with a neutral air. You're getting... You're gonna getting a, a, a neutral air of your own. Mm-hmm. Now uh, let's. Now the now the thing is is, is, is that Sephiroth of course, does need to be a little careful. Uh, he, he's at high percentage, so pretty much any, any sort of burst uh, option from from Swat from Raptor can can potentially kill him. Yeah. No. Yoshi's strong. <laughs> he's he is stronger than he looks. Ooh, that back air would have killed if it did not trade with uh, Ishtar's back air right there. <clears throat> okay, great oh. grab there by Ishtar. And Raptor without a double jump, unfortunately, maybe tried to drift back into center stage, meaning that with, you know, rage and some maybe not great DI, Ishtar is going to be taking the lead. And I believe, yeah, the wing is gone. That's big damage. Yeah. Now, now the thing, of, uh, now, now if I'm not mistaken, oh, nice. Nice forward there. Now, the thing, the thing I'm not mistaken is, is that while, while Sephiroth of course, is a fairly light character, Yoshi is, uh, is, is also somewhat light. Maybe, maybe a little heavier of course, than, uh, than Sephiroth, but still in the light category, if I'm not mistaken. If not floaty. Sure, I think he's like slightly above average. I think Yoshi, fairly, I mean, definitely floaty, but in just terms of weight value, I think Yoshi is like slightly above average. Mm. Oops. Now, right, now Ishtar right. trying to use that counter to oh, put Raptor back off stage, but we're just returning to neutral right now. Strange option, no call, by, by, Ish, by Ishtar over here, letting them actually come back on stage as opposed to pressure him Ooh. on. Ooh. He just as, stood there. As, as, press, um, 
instead of pressuring him okay, off stage to make sure he doesn't come back, he, he decides to put okay, him back onto the stage. A weird choice, but we'll see if that, that, that doesn't bite him in the end. Yeah, I mean, we've seen... I think what Ishtar wants is to reset to neutral because of the way that Yoshi plays, especially with that double jump armor, he's going to have a better time getting back to center stage from a ledge trapping situation. And you can already see those eggs doing so much work too. So what Ishtar probably wants is, you know, more of a raw read. And we can already see him using that movement to try and find a back air. Oh, oh no. That, that could have ended... Several things could, could have ended poorly right there. <laughs> Do have the wing online though, almost getting the egg to forward air. Ishtar is still living, but he's got to find this kill ASAP. That up air absolutely would have done it. That's a, a raging dinosaur right now. He angry. And he, he's red with anger. Yeah, man. The last thing you want to do is is, 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 is fight a, a dinosaur that's, that's already pretty red and, and ready to kill you. That's like terra bad. Oh. Ishtar keeping things keeping things patient though. You can already you can see him using that walk, just trying to. Meanwhile, Raptor's over here trying to look, look trying to find the most dis dishonest way of, of, of like ending this man's uh, career. I think it's okay. There what? we go. Finally getting the F tilt. Ishtar, I really feel like he. A he, F, he F tilt kinda, with. The, go ahead. He was kind of beating around the bush for that final kill. We it felt like. You know, he was really using, he was being very patient, but it also felt like he was dropping some opportunities, maybe playing a little bit too patient and giving Raptor a little bit too much space. We saw Ishtar almost like, like cartoon slip off of the right side of Final Destination while mm -hmm. giving Raptor space to come in. Yeah, and, and I'm not sure if it feels because of uh, respecting him too much or or, or, or being a little, little too, too concerned of, of, of Raptor's options. But either way, we, we are going to round two, and we're going to uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. I, I guess Raptor wants to pretend to be a Pokemon right now. I mean, so Pokemon Stadium 2 going to be giving Raptor a little bit more opportunities to live longer. We did already see Ishtar struggle to kill in that game one. Raptor was living to some pretty high percents. I think that last kill, Raptor was over 150, 170 maybe. So, I mean, going to be given... Raptor even more time to live and even more time to find uh, Ishtar's stock, but that, but that also means okay, that that, Ish, that Ishtar okay, could get, could get, gets to live as well, if okay, if uh, we call it, uh, Ishtar could have some good DI. Right. <coughs> that being said, though, as we've said before, Sephiroth is a light boy, so I mean, assuming Raptor can get in and win this neutral, you know start putting some percentage on it, then maybe we can start to see some kills. Ooh. Oh. Uh, Sephiroth was, I mean, the, the Raptor is, is getting a little too close right there. Ooh, not ready there for the uh, Shadow Flare. I think, I think that is four seconds after they're applied, they pop. Uh, that's a lot, right? Yes. But, so yeah, you, you may want to try to avoid those uh, Dark Skittles if, if, if you can help it. Mm-hmm. You know, you see Raptor trying to threaten at the ledge now. But a double jump forward air gonna, gonna be getting Ishtar the space he needs to get back into center stage. And now we're seeing again, just trying to keep Raptor at bay and force him to run into something as he does the back air. And Ishtar gets to get some more extra credit, still has the wing online as well. So this should be plenty for him. Oh no. Oh, I, I was a little scared right there when, when that egg actually connected. I, I thought it was like, like an outsmash or something. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, not finding anything out of the neutral air there. So, oh, I see. there we go. The egg to up air, though. Putting Raptor back on the board. Keeping things competitive. Only 23%. Wow, did he ask, Did he actually uh, 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 pop the egg uh, uh, with, with a dark skills? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that, that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> Ishtar moving things right back to this patient neutral. Tries oh, to roll in, no. but a, no, a third up tilt. They never expect the third one. Yep. Tell, tell you, man. Uh, Yoshi is dishonest. <laughs> <laughs> that is, you know, the most dishonest thing, is when you do something twice to let them know that you're going to do it a third time. Right? <laughs> There's nothing more dishonest than telling your opponent exactly what you're about to do. Oh, that's a jumpless Yoshi. 
I think he might still be jumpless, but oh. he's gonna be stockless instead. Yeah, uh, Sephra definitely uh, end ended that Yoshi's life with, with that up air. Yep. And right. and Ishtar is is it a pretty comfortable lead actually. Yep, forty two percent, not even having wing on his second stock, but that may come to bite him if Raptor can finish out this ledge trapping sequence. I kid, but it is it is I, online now. I do wonder if we'll get some sort of upset if uh, if, if Ishtar managed to win this. Maybe I'm not quite sure how Ishtar was uh, seated. I know Raptor typically does pretty well. Ooh. Man, first, first up to now we're back here, boys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's one of Sephiroth's best moves. Oh. Ishtar right there, looking for maybe a shield break setup with that down smash. Does ooh, you, you gotta watch that? You cannot shield yeah, that. Yeah, you, you don't want to. That that is a near instant uh shield breaker right there. Oh, but that's oh, a but, but, re grab. But but the dunk though caught by Raptor. Let's go. Yep, so Raptor back online, as we said before, you know, this is Yoshi with Rage, Sephiroth Light, so not out of the realm of possibilities, but Raptor's gotta play gotta play it so carefully and really pick his openings. Because as we've seen, Ishtar likes to Ishtar definitely likes to play defensively, really make you run into his options. And especially, you know, if you're if you're down, then you're the one who has to run in. Mhm, mm and, and 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 I respect that. It, it's good to let, let the let the opponent approach. Oh. oh, but but he didn't need to, okay, because he quickly ended okay, that Yoshi's life with, with another back air. Yep, slicing that egg right in half. It, uh, Raptor tried to find himself some space to get back on the stage, but Ishtar not letting him. Gonna be moving on into winners' quarters, I believe, for pools. A. So very good stuff. And you know, even the, despite Raptor playing a, a dishonest character, I, I do wish him luck, of course, in, in the loses, in the loses bracket. May, uh, ho hopefully, of course, he he'll, he'll make it hard, he'll make it far, and maybe even try to get that run back, of course, with, with Ishtar if it, if there's an opportunity that, that, comes, that comes for it. Mhm. Mm and next up, we've got Vivi versus Helper sitting down. Oh. To House 3000 Xeno Classics. Hey, now. If